Hello, everyone. My name is Yana Harris. I'm a principal front end engineer. And this is the first episode today where we will be starting to look at Chakra UI component library. We have had some episodes looking at other component libraries already. There is an episode on the Radix UI, as well as Chalcium UI and Magic UI that is built on top of it. While all of those libraries are a little bit unique and offer a specific solution based on what you're looking for, they are not necessarily a good example of your traditional component library. A lot of us have spent years taking advantage of your traditional React component library, like Material Design by Google. I have worked across multiple companies where internally we either have tried to recreate something similar to Material UI or even use it as a foundation with some styling applied on top. Conceptually, libraries that are similar to Material UI are usually being leveraged in the form of an NPM dependency. This NPM dependency has its versions with every major version update. They're usually breaking changes that as a developer, you have to remediate before you can pull the latest version of the library. But other than that, things are pretty straightforward and out of the box. If you need a button component, if you need an input component or a menu component, they are usually available out of the box. And all you need to do is to import the component that you're looking for, and you should be ready to get started. With Radix UI, the main difference was that it is offering a set of primitives. And the main benefit of Radix UI is that those components bring in the business logic and accessibility without making any assumptions of what your visual language is. So you are free to apply any design whatsoever and make it your own. On the other hand, Shatsi and UI comes pre-styled, although highly customizable, but the way you would use it is actually different. Because it is not an NPM dependency, you end up downloading the majority of the source code in your code base, which is an interesting differentiator. Now with Magic UI, we're steering far into the space of highly styled and opinionated component library and design system, which certainly has its advantages and its set of customers that need exactly this approach. But what do you do if you're starting a Greenfield project, you're looking for a component library, you're looking to simply import it as an NPM dependency without having to worry too much about maintaining the source code in your code repository. And the goal is to find a decent material design alternative. Well, this is where Chakra UI comes in. Chakra UI is a modern, flexible, and accessible component library for React projects. It truly offers a wide variety of accessible and customizable UI components. And it is truly one of the larger offerings that I have personally seen within a component library. Chakra UI components are built in feature reach. They bring a solid accessibility foundation bundled up with each component. And they do provide a straightforward way of customizing the theme and styling while already coming with some predefined styling and design so that developer doesn't really have to start from scratch. I thought it would be interesting to dive into a little bit of a background on who created Chakra UI Component Library. Chakra UI has been created by a software developer whose name is Sigun Adebayo. He's currently working out of the United Arab Emirates. And the interesting detail is that Sigun Adebayo actually started his career as a UX designer. And in one point in his career, he just switched to software engineer. Chakra UI was originally released about four years ago, has been thoroughly thought through and I truly love the desired touch on each and every component provided by Chakra UI. While making a review of Magic UI Component Library, it was interesting to me that, that they're truly putting forward this idea that they're extremely popular because of the number of stars that they get on their GitHub page. Now, Magic UI is under two years old and they already have 14,000 stars on their GitHub page, which is a decent amount. Now, if you look at Radix UI Component Library that has been around for about four years as well, just like Chakra UI, they actually have about 16,000 stars. So you can tell how in comparison, Magic UI is gaining stars a lot quicker compared to something like Radix UI, which is actually a foundation for Magic UI component library. However, now if you look at Chakra UI GitHub page, you will find that they have almost 38,000 stars comparing to 16,000 for the Radix UI gained within the same time frame. So it's obvious that Chakra UI have gained a lot of community interest and support over the years. However, at the same time, we really should be looking into the usage metrics as well. Now, Magic UI is not really an NPM dependency, so we can see a number of weekly downloads. However, if we do compare Chakra UI to Radix UI, for example, you will see a huge gap. 
Well, Checker UI has a little bit over 600,000 weekly downloads, which is a really decent number. Radix UI just blows it out of the water with their almost 10 million weekly downloads. But hey, as I said earlier, those two libraries are actually serving different use cases, a slightly different population. So for me, this is just an interesting tidbit of statistical information, which is in no way an indicator of which library is better than the other. So now, truly, why would you want to use Chakra UI library for your next project in React? Number one advantage is ease of use. If you're looking for ready to use styled component library, it has a wide variety of primitive components to use as well as high order components built on top of them. Chakra UI is going to be an amazing choice for you. And I don't mean that Chakra UI is only suitable for beginners. It's truly suitable for both beginners and advanced front end engineers equally. Again, if you're looking for something that has already styled built in, that is highly accessible, that has a wide offering of various components, this is a great choice for you. That brings me to my second point, which is out of the box styling. Comparing to Radix UI, where you really need to invest a lot of time in making sure you, each of your components is styled accordingly to what you're looking for, Chakra UI comes pre-styled, but it doesn't mean that it's rigid. You're still able to customize those styles through theme overrides, and we will dive into it deeper in my future series on Chakra UI. So now the third advantage is customizability. That's exactly what I just said. Being able to customize the presentational layer of each component is something that you can do with the theme overrides. The fourth advantage, which is pretty huge, is accessibility. Each Chakra UI component comes highly accessible, and I will also spend time in future series going through an accessibility checklist for some of the more complex components within Chakra UI to prove this point. So now it's important to keep in mind that Chakra UI is relying on CSS and GS solution for its styling. So unlike Radix, it doesn't come with a tailwind as a dependency. This is a win for me in my personal book. I do prefer CSS and GS over tailwind, and I'm happy to walk you through on how to customize styling, rely on emotion beyond just the theme customization. To get started with Chakra UI, you first need to install the necessary packages. Let's go ahead and install Chakra UI dependencies into your project. Let's open a new terminal window. We're going to need Chakra UI for React, the motion for React, and Framer Motion is not going to hurt. Now, first things first, we need to set up Chakra Provider. In fact, we're going to need to wrap our entire application into Chakra Provider. Let's go ahead and come into the main.tsx file. We're going to import Chakra Provider. Now, if you look at the Chakra Getting Started documentation, you will see that once we're done installing dependencies, it is actually suggesting us to use Chakra UI CLI to add snippets to our project. Let's go ahead and do that. This reminds me of Chat CNUI, and it truly seems like this is where all the component libraries are added these days. Just so you know, you don't actually have to do that. You can continue using Chakra UI directly from within node modules folder. But let's see what advantage does it give us. One of the components that gets added is the provider component, as well as some default system values, as well as importing a color mode provider here as well. Now within the color mode provider, we will find a theme provider that is actually being imported from the next themes dependency. And this simply looks like a wrapper for a light and dark mode already implemented on our behalf. So pretty handy. Back at our main.tsx file, we're going to wrap our app and import it from one of the snippets that we had just successfully generated. Now, I hope you enjoyed this introduction in the Chakra UI. The goal of this episode is truly to provide the most basic information about this library and help you make a decision whether you would like to learn more. The next episode will focus on building more complex layout with the grid, flex, and stack components. So please stay tuned. Until the next time.